Hi, it's me. I'm back. It's time to do a next pattern, which is at Pattern Focus. Find today's daily pattern. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the daily patterns, um, you can scroll down. It's not just this week. It's all the way back. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, just I'm going to do this. All the way to the bottom, you will find that the first ones are July 17th, 2016 is the first daily pattern that we did. Uh, that's a long time ago. Anyway, just FYI, there's a whole mess. Or two years worth of daily patterns and um, most of them have not been done twice. There's a few that have been done twice, but most of them have not been done twice. So you have like 600 patterns that you could go through day by day. Just, just saying. Um, next one is going to be feather triangle ribbon. Ooh. Look at that. Okay, this one's by Ina Sonamoser. And it does need some pencil as a sort of a guide. So first thing we need to figure out is how to draw the pencil guide. So it's going to be two um, parallel lines, some triangles, and then this line here. Step one. Then step two is going to be starting the pattern. It's going to be at the at the apex of the triangle. We're going to do a a little rice or teardrop shape, and then it looks like you start further from this line and you go around and then kind of follow that line. So this, this here goes along that green, the pencil line. So the first one comes like that and then the next one is like this. And then looks like we just follow that. We keep going and we fill the triangular space making all of our lines aim like aim this way toward the top of this triangle, right? And then once we get to the corner, we're just going to turn the corner and just keep going toward that middle until it's all filled in. And then there is what it looks like. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. So I think I'm just going to figure out, I'm just going to do a few of them nice and big so we can really see the pattern. Okay. Turn on my light. Um, I'm going to give myself I'm going to, I'm going to try it in sort of a curve. Don't want to get up into the corner though. So I am going to have to put myself a, um, a border because I really, it, and this is my own personal thing. I have a hard time with the pat, with the tiles that go all the way up to the edge. It's just a thing. Um, I know that there is, times where it's appropriate to just fill the whole t tile all the way to the edge. I just sometimes have a really tough time with it. So I like to put a border. You don't have to. You know, you do your own thing. But I'm going to do a sort of a a bit of a curve on my shape for my triangle. Maybe I'll do it like this. Oh yeah, that would be good. Okay. So like that and like that. 
and then I've got a place for my border. I am going to think I'm going to just put the border in to start with. I don't always do that, but sometimes I do, and I think today is going to be one of those days that I maybe just want to do the border to start with. I'm using a brush pen. This particular one is a Micron Pigma brush pen, but you can use whatever you've got. Um, I just felt like I wanted a big border, and it's the easiest and fastest way to get a big border is to use the big old brush pen. So, I need those guidelines for my pencil, and then I need triangles. I am tempted. That just seems really super big. I'm not sure I want it that big. Maybe this size. Tempted to play with two different scales. Do it like that. And then this has to come like that. And this has to go Does it matter which direction they go? Should they all go the same way? Looks like it. I don't know. Don't know if it makes any difference. Okay. And then I'm going to do a smaller one and see what it does in a different size scale. Like that. They're going different directions. I'll see what that does too. <clears throat> if that makes a difference. Why not? Okay, let's zoom in. Really big. And I'm going to I'm going to start with this middle one. And I'm going to do this shape like that. And then you start going this way and around and you follow up into there. When you get into the corner, you just kind of turn it. You just keep following this this J shape. Remember that th this is there. that. I believe that is sort of accurate and you can even probably fill a couple of those in. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. 
And then I've got my little teardrop shape. And we're going to go this way because that's the direction I put this J. that okay I'm good with that and then we're gonna try again this is pretty simple you guys can do this so while I'm drawing let's talk about the weekend how was your weekend we were extremely busy working on the backyard our friends came over like I said they were going to and well let's see there were three four five there were seven of us worked at some point during the day um, Yeah, seven, seven of us worked at some point during the day on the backyard, and it got graded. We rented some heavy uh, earth-moving equipment. My son just really enjoyed himself driving this big old machine. Nothing, nothing more says fun to a, a guy than, than, than large machinery. They just love it. And, um, so the backyard got graded. The, we put in the, the concrete pillars for the uh, patio supports. We, managed to get the yard just it, it looks so much different got it all straightened and flattened out and graded and prepared for the patio pavers our patio pavers will should be here by the end of the week at least that's what they're supposed to be I don't know, I haven't gotten, haven't gotten a delivery confirmation email yet to, for them to, or haven't gotten a phone call. They're supposed to call or contact us in some manner and, and, uh, prepare, get us, um, scheduled for a delivery when the, when the pavers come in, so... But we are all ready to go. The weed block is down. The layer of sand is down. So all the base work is all finished. All that done in one day. I, I thought it was going to, you know, we were going to work on it for two days. But we managed to get all that done on Saturday. And I went to work too. Ugh, that was a long day. So yesterday we got home from church. I sat down. I was watching some YouTube videos because I love to do that. You guys know that. I love my love my YouTubes. I fell fast asleep just sitting there watching my computer, and that was oh. I was I I had that you know that that 
moment when you wake up and you realize you have you have fallen asleep and you've been sitting in a really horrible position. I mean, I slept sitting up on the sofa, not like propped in the corner, but just sitting up. Ugh. With my feet up on the footstool and my f toes had fallen asleep and oh boy was I a mess. My husband woke me up and was like and I was out. So if you keep track of where your triangle is, you could probably do this without the guideline once you get started, but these are fun, aren't they? fun. You know, I'm enjoying this. Okay, one more. Anyway, so we got that done. Um, got some Quotes coming in for the driveway, if we can afford it. I don't know. Money still causing me some stress. But I do feel better that we've gotten all this work done. Our friends are awesome. I hope I didn't get too far out of out of frame. I'm sorry, I forgot I was really zoomed in. So I'm just gonna fill in around. I think that's what I, I wanna do. And I may get, I think I'm gonna get my bigger pen. I'm going to get my bigger pen. My big fat one. Fill in these spaces in between. So, so that's where we're at. We've got the yard graded, getting ready for the artificial turf, getting ready for the pavers. to work on the patio structure because patio we have in the backyard the, the trellis is has been there for almost 30 years and it is falling down and it needs to be replaced that's a lot of work
this point I'm just gonna just embellish and follow my instincts as to where I want to put the dark but I think I'm just gonna color in all of this Else do I have to say? Probably not much. You guys can fast forward to this part of the coloring in because this is just not the most exciting parts. Although some of you say that this part is the part that relaxes you and you like watching. So that's good. Um, you know, to each his own. Some people will say, well, why don't you fast forward through these parts? because you know you tell us to fast forward but then you don't you don't do that on your videos and um, I have several reasons um, but the most important one is that I choose not to edit my videos um, just so everybody can see a real time of this is how long a tile of this size should be you know, actually takes me to do. I I find it, I don't know, I, I when I'm following um, artists on YouTube, whether it's um, patterning and, and Zentangle type work, or whether it's, you know, um, painting or mixed media or whatever because I, I watch all sorts of different things um, it bugs me when they either fast forward and I can't really see what they're doing or really can't tell how long it actually takes because you can't tell once they've started fast forwarding you don't know if they're on two times faster, three times faster, four times faster. Um, you really don't get a sense, a, a, an accurate sense of how long it takes to, um, to actually do the work. And, and for me, that can be frustrating because, you know, I, maybe I'm watching a tutorial and I thought, oh, I want to, I want to do that. I want to follow along. I want to replicate that. And then I see that the tutorial is like 10 minutes and it takes me an hour to do it. And then I get frustrated and I feel like that maybe I'm not good enough because it took me so long to do. And then I realize that, you know, they fast forwarded and I really, I have no idea how long it took them to do. It, it could have taken them all day. I don't know. Either, either that or then there's the artists who, um, you know, they don't want to show all this boring stuff, which I, I, I get, you know, I, like, like I said, you guys can fast forward through this, 
Um, and oftentimes I will. I'll fast forward. But I appreciate the artists who are doing it and just keep working and leave their, their camera on and don't um, do the fast forwarding. Because I can, I can choose to fast forward myself. But sometimes I really want to watch the process exactly how they did what they did. I did, I'm gonna go kind of at first I wasn't gonna do that harsh band but I've decided that's where I'm going with it That's really pretty. I like it. I've decided it needs something else. So it's going to get some CPT. You know what CPT is? Creative Pattern Tangling, where you add embellishments. in a creative manner. So yeah, anyway, you guys can just fast forward if you want to fast forward. I leave that option up to you. But then you know that, you know, a tile this size takes approximately a half hour, 45 minutes, depending on how complex it is. Most of my videos are about that same length. And you know, I watch artists whose videos are an hour, hour and a half long. And that doesn't bug me. And like I said, I can fast forward if I decide that that's more than I want to watch. I feel like it needs a little lace all of a sudden. It's decided it wants some sort of like lace. That's pretty. Okay, that's that's good. I'm happy with that. Uh, feather triangle ribbon. Now a bit of shading. First thing I'm going to do is this. Make that stand out from the background. Is that? That's so pretty. Okay, and then I want a little, little shading, just right where in the middle of this triangle where it's 
where all my little petals kind of flow together. one and I don't need that big of a stump anymore I can switch to my smaller stump and if you're wondering about why this stump has got blue tape on it it's just because these smaller stumps um, I have a tendency to bend them and break them in half and so that's just a little little bit of uh, tape to keep it from support it to keep it from bending this is one that I've already bent you can probably maybe you can tell it's not not completely straight it's already got a and see it's already got a bend in it here where there's no tape I'm hard on my stumps but that's because I use them a lot and one little stump probably lasts a year. So, you know, if you think about it, three, four hundred drawings for one little stump. And it doesn't, doesn't get any shorter, it doesn't wear out on the tip. I just bend, bend them and break them in the middle. I don't have that problem with the big one. Big one I don't have issues with. Or even these these medium size. It's just these tiny ones that I have problems with. Okay, do I want any more dark? I think I want it a little bit darker. I can always come back and put a little bit more. Make it darker. And if you don't like what you did, you can always come back with the eraser make it lighter especially the um, the kneaded eraser if you decide you you came back and you put way too much in you can um, you can use your kneaded eraser and just tap and it will take off a little bit but it won't take off a lot see what that did it took off a little bit So now this one's just slightly lighter in color than that one. I don't want it that way, but I just wanted to show you. It, you can. You can come in and, and, um, and lighten your drawing. I want it nice and deep. And then I'm going to use my white pencil and do these wonderful little highlights. See, look at that. This is awesome. And this is just a plain old white colored pencil. You could use a charcoal pencil. You could use a gel pen. Whatever you have. Doesn't have to be white. You could use yellow or green. Oh, this would look cool as like a bright green. But, you know, I started in white. That's where I'm going to continue. Maybe I'll do this part with a, a lime green. Let me try that. That would be fun. But since I started these ones in white, I'm going to continue these guys in white. how pretty that is I just I just find that just so stunning okay where's my color pencils that's not those they're in here in my little zipper case um limey green right I'm gonna use this chartreuse 
see what that looks like as a highlight color instead of white. That's cool. I'm happy with that. So I'm thinking about a project I'm going to do for when I'm on vacation this summer. Because um, I'm going to be gone about two weeks. Just a little less than two weeks. But by the time I get back to being in the routine of drawing, I, it will probably be two weeks. Um, but I don't want to leave you guys without content for two weeks. I think I'm going to come back in here and use some of this color also in here, even though I've got the white. I'm going to add it. Yeah. And so I've been thinking about a project that I want to do that's multiple tiles. Um, actually, nine tiles. So that'll be just, just right. Um, Because when I'm on vacation, just before I go on vacation, I'll be able to do the daily pattern for the week before, you know, the week that I leave. Um, I can do that the week ahead, but then the, while the, the week while I'm gone, I won't be able to because, you know, I won't know what the daily patterns are. And rather than have Nicole do them ahead like she has for me in the past, I think I'm going to do this at special project. I'm going to do these nine tiles. I've just been thinking about it a lot. And it's rare that on my channel, it's not rare in my regular art practice that I that I make some plans. Um, but, but on this channel, I don't usually make plans. I, I, I'm on purpose, uh, you know, learning as I go. So I, on purpose, don't um, don't often think ahead because I want to, you know, have these, these, uh, tiles be spontaneous, just as you would be drawing your tiles, <laughs> just so you guys see. That's awesome. I want a little bit of, I just want to spark of yellow. Um, yeah, so I'm planning ahead. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a you know, I'm not sure I like the yellow, but I did it, so I'm going to do it on this side too. Um, So I'm thinking nine tiles into like a mosaic using the various colors like I did on, where was that tile that I did that was multiple color? This one. See how I did multiple colors on this tile? I want to do each tile as its own and they come together as one big piece of artwork. That's, that's my plan. I like it. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm not, not sure I care much for that yellow. I kind of, I lost my contrast in there that I had. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Can I get rid of it? Can I erase it? I don't know. Colored pencil is harder to erase. It can be erased, but it's harder to erase. I'm not sure I can get it out. can't get it out completely, but I can get rid of some of that dark color that I'm not happy with. That's better. That's better. I got rid of some of it. 
All right, so I think I'm done. I'm just kind of yammering at this point and playing with my colors. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that that might be coming down the pike here uh, for when I'm on vacation. I'm going to work on it, and then I'll have it all ready to go. So when I go on vacation, I'll have that ready. But I'm planning it ahead. Uh, yeah, it'll be a while before I'm on vacation. And... You won't know that I'm on vacation until I'm already back from vacation because that's when that's how it's going to... It always happens that way. Like, I record on Monday and it doesn't get played until the next Monday. And so I'm always a week off. So the day I start vacation, you will be watching the stuff I did the previous week. So you won't know I'm on vacation until I'm already home. That's the way it works. Which is just fine because you know I shouldn't be telling the entire world that I'm not home so you won't know until I'm already back haha <laughs> all right so I think I'm done feather triangle ribbon I really like it you guys have a really great day do something nice for somebody today make the world a better place especially in your little corner of the world uh you know the more we can the more we can make our world a better place, the happier we all will be. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.